Two summer fragrances for men, two very similar situations. I wanna talk about Popeye and Invictus Aqua. Now, even if you're not a huge fragrance collector, these are two fragrances that you probably have seen around the shops. And if you haven't seen these particular ones, you've probably seen their original versions, Lamal and Invictus. Lamal Popeye or Lamal Au Fresh and Invictus Aqua, they happen to be flankers of each respective fragrance. It's not just a bottle redesign, although it really looks like it on this one, for example, just a bit of a tattoo on it. The fragrance inside is different. And because of the tag Fresh and Aqua, they're more fresh fragrances. It's great for the warmth. I would argue that these are probably two of the more popular and sought after fresh fragrance flankers. And the reason being is they're flankers of really, really popular original fragrances. The nice thing about summer flankers is the freshness does make it more wearable in general. You can wear it in more occasions. You don't have to limit it to summer, but this opens the door to summer wearability when it comes to this fragrance DNA. Now I wanna compare these two. Jean-Paul Gaultier, the company that makes this fragrance, seems to release a new version of it every year with a completely new bottle design. It really is for marketing purposes. It seems like a new fragrance and it rebuilds the hype, but people in the fragrance community have realized that the fragrance inside is nearly identical. So whether you have this or Superman or the weird sailor one, you're gonna have the same experience. While Invictus Aqua, on the other hand, they sort of changed up the formulation. No longer can you get Invictus Aqua in this cloudy glass bottle. It's more of a transparent bottle with a bluish tinge to it. And yes, it does smell a little bit different as well. So much so that Parfums Vintage made a clone of the 2016 formulation. So clearly there is a demand for it. But when I compare these two, are they both likable in the air? Yes, absolutely. They will get you compliments. But I've always gravitated towards Lamal. The fresh Lamal flankers, they're more satisfying for me to wear. And that's because even though the notes in this are very similar to the original Lamal, it smells like a different fragrance. It's composed in a completely different way and you can wear it anytime you want. Invictus Aqua, on the other hand, it just kind of smells like Invictus in the air. There's so many times that people have passed by me while I wore this and they said, you're wearing Invictus? That's embarrassing. Even though it's a different fragrance, the difference is really only noticeable up close. The wearer will notice it, the wearer will enjoy it more because it's not as heavy handed, but in the air, it's the same old Invictus. If you have a fragrance collection, that means you enjoy variety and you enjoy being expressive and perhaps different and unique. There are so many fragrances out there that get compliments and get good attention, but can still be unique to you. And Invictus Aqua has just never done it for me. I still really enjoy Popeye. I love wearing it, even though it's a flanker of everybody's ex-boyfriend. If you were deciding between these two fragrances, I would just go with Popeye. I'm more sick of the Invictus DNA than I am of Lamal. This one's composed better. I get slightly better performance as well. And it's even one that I can wear all year round because of its sweetness too. If you wanna know a little bit more about Jean-Paul Gaultier fragrances, I did a slightly amusing video with my comedian sister about all the flankers that I own. And this is just a fragrant, okay? My opinion, get your own.